Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. This time we're going to be talking about WWF Smackdown on the PlayStation. This is the only way that I really could experience Smackdown, because I did not get UPN as a kid. It's one of those weird things that's kind of unheard of now. How would you not get a TV station or not have access to something? But back in the 90s, I did not ever see an episode of SmackDown. When I went back to play this game, I found it to be just as much fun as when I first played it. It really is awesome. I have a lot of memories of playing this with my friend Drew, including him rage quitting so badly that he ended up selling his copy of the game. It was pretty funny to see. (laughs) Especially since I came back like a week later and he's like, yeah, I don't have the game anymore. It, It was pretty hilarious. While there is no story in this game, there are some storylines. They don't really matter unless you're playing as the character in those storylines, so yeah, that's kind of pointless. You do see a few promos from the other wrestlers, but again, they don't really tie into your character all that much. Well, you select a character to play during the career mode, and you can watch all the other matches on a show or a pay-per-view... That's kind of cool, but there's really no, like, rhyme or reason to it. You do see some of the rivalries get set up, and you see some people show up in matches over and over. But, yeah, there's no real story going on here. Like, not anything that you can follow, like your character chasing after a belt or something like that. It is nice that there is something that somewhat resembles a story mode, But you're still going to have to use a lot of your own imagination to create something in this to give your character a reason for why they're chasing after things. It was pretty dependent just on what was going on in the WWF at the time. So, yeah, (laughs) it's one of those things that requires you to just watch the TV show or come up with your own storyline when you're watching this. It is a step in the right direction and much better than the 8 and 16 bit counterparts. This is an easy game to pick up and play. You can say that about a lot of the early SmackDown games, but this one in particular was just really refreshing, especially after coming off of the ECW games and WWF Attitude. The roster is excellent, which might be just nostalgia talking for me. This is the era of the WWF I like the most, so yeah, I know a lot of the characters, I know what storylines they were doing, or at least most of the storylines that they were doing. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun to go and play. There are only a few game modes in this, but there are a lot of match types that you can play. You have your career mode, which is what I really gravitated to, but then you can go into the exhibition mode where you have just a single match, tag team match, handicap, battle royal, royal rumble, king of the ring, a hardcore match, falls count anywhere, cage match, survival match, special referees, and also an I Quit match. There's just a lot going on in this game. The only thing that I didn't like was not being able to see your health meter in this. You have a meter for your SmackDown moves, so you build up the little flashing red line, and then that gives you one of the glowing dots, and that gives you your finisher. It would have been nicer to see just how much health your opponent has and how much health you have, but oh well, that that really wasn't an option. What I really like doing is in the career mode, you take a wrestler that wasn't used much on TV and just turn them into a champion. It's a lot of fun to do that. Granted, my favorite wrestler was Chris Jericho at the time, so he already held the Intercontinental Championship, so it was pretty easy to go through and do that. I also really like playing as uh, Steve Blackman and putting the tag team head cheese back together because that really was an underrated duo and they should have probably been the champions at some point. But that's just me talking. (laughs) The gameplay is fantastic. It's easy to do all the moves. The controls are excellent. It's just an easy game to pick up and play. You don't really need to know a whole lot, and you can get into it very fast and just learn what you need to do. 
it's also very easy to do the finishers. Like, just get in the right position and then hit one button and boom, you can do your finisher. It's really, really refreshing, especially after just suffering through WWF Attitude and the ECW games. I didn't realize how much I missed SmackDown until I went back and played those games. This game looks really good. The ring entrances, the crowd, just the ring itself, the character models look awesome. The moves look wonderful as well. Out of all the wrestling games that I have played to this point, I like this one the best. It is also going to look a lot like SmackDown 2, so those are kind of tied for the best looking game. I love the entrance videos and the music. They're just all awesome. I, it just looks like an awesome game. I don't know what to say. Especially for the time period that it was made. It just looks really good. Especially when I compare it to the WCW games from this period that just kind of look like crap after a while. I don't know what the hell was going on with Backstage Assault, but that one looked awful when I compared it to SmackDown. The ring, the crowd, the backstage areas, those all look really good. It's cool that the matches can be held in the backstage area, and that the backstage area isn't the entire freaking game like in Backstage Assault. Because why the hell would anybody want that? The cage matches look a little odd, and that's only because the cage is there, and it sort of has the camera moving in and out of it. and It looks different, but that's the way they had to do it at the time. The game's camera work is really great. It zooms in, changes angles to capture the big moves and changes for the SmackDown and everything. It's really cool to see. There are some facial reactions in the game, which are still a little primitive, but it is PS1 after all. So it's not going to look as good as the stuff today. Overall, this is one of the best looking wrestling games on the PS1. It's tied with SmackDown 2. I still haven't gone through that one in at least the video's continuity. That's going to be the next week. So, yeah, it's not that big of a jump between the two games. Both of them look excellent for the time. It was great to go back and play SmackDown. I really liked this game when it came out, and I just loved playing it for this review. It was an easy game to get back into, and it was really easy to get into when I was a kid. The graphics and the gameplay, I think, still hold up. It's not going to look as good as some of the other games out today, which you you should expect for a game that was released back in 2000. But I think it still looks excellent for a PS1 game. The gameplay, I think, is fantastic. It's just very simple and easy to pick up. You don't need to start opening up menus all the time, which was annoying. And I didn't mind it at first with Warzone, but then after going through three other games that Acclaim had butchered, it got very annoying. I'd, I still have really great memories of playing this with my friend Drew and being really excited for the second game when that came out. They came out very close to one another, which I don't remember. I didn't realize that you know the third game in the series came out in 2001, and SmackDown and SmackDown 2 both came out in 2000. I just never even realized that, mostly because I was worried about other stuff back in 2000 and 2001, so I wasn't really paying attention. And I don't ever really remember playing the third SmackDown game. A lot of stuff happened to me in 2001 and 2002, so I wasn't exactly paying attention to what video games were being released. Anyway, this was just so much fun to go back and play. It's probably going to be the second best, just because it's so close to what SmackDown 2 is. Anyway, that's going to wrap things up. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.